Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is physics. In this presentation, we want to look at this question. From 2019 GCE Paper 1, question A13. This is 5124 physics. The diagram below shows a ray of light from air into a rectangular glass block. So we have the diagram here. The question says which of the following equations can be used to calculate refractive index of glass? Options were provided on the other side. A, n is equal to sine 1 divided by sine 3, n is equal to sine 2 divided by sine 3, n is equal to sine 3 divided by sine 1, and then D, n is equal to sine 4 divided by sine 2. The question, ladies and gentlemen, is coming from a topic called light. Now, there are certain things that you need to understand before you can attempt the question. What you are seeing here is a diagram which is showing a ray of light. Now, get me very well here. This is where light is coming from. How do I know? You follow the arrows. I seen that? You follow the arrows. So meaning, a ray of light is from this end going to that. Now what is happening here? From this point, light will strike this part and it will be able to bend. Why? There is change of media. Here, this is in air. Okay, then from this point going up, this is in the glass. So there will be change and there will be this bending as a result of their densities, they are not the same. So there will be change even in the speed. This is why you are seeing it bend like this. If it was just one media, it would just be straight. Agreed? But since there are two media, that we are talking about here, air and glass, there will be change. Now, at this point here, you need to draw what we call normal. So this dotted line or broken line that you are seeing here is called the normal. This is the normal. It should be drawn at 90 degrees or perpendicular to the glass block. Okay? It must be at 90 degrees here. Now, there will be a lot of uh, angles that will be formed here. So, what I'm talking about is this. This is the ray. Strikes this point in this direction. Direction is important because it's not always that they will be coming from this. They can even indicate coming from this down, uh, from this end going this direction. So, you have to be careful. Okay? So once it strikes this end, there will be the bending there. This bending depends on the density, on how heavy the media is. Huh? If it is too heavy, it will bend towards the normal. It will not be far from the normal. Okay? So now, this line here, this ray, from this point to this point is what is called incident ray. Then after, after refraction, there will be this ray, which will be refracted ray. From this point to this point. Are we together? Then, there are a lot of angles that have been created here. There is this angle, there is this angle, there is this angle, this angle, this angle. Okay? Plus this angle. A lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out of the six, we are just interested in two angles. Two angles out of this six. Now, what are those two angles that we are interested in? The angle of incident and the angle of refraction. Those are the two angles we are interested in. Now, how do we identify which one is the angle of incident here? Which one is the angle of whom? You should, those two angles that you should pick, 
should always come from the normal and the rare. So, for example, this is the rare. Okay, this is the rare. So, this ray, which is called incident ray, has made an angle with the normal. Now, which will be the angle? Is it this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one? It is this one here. Have you seen that? This now is the angle of incident. It is the angle that has been formed between the normal and the incident ray. So please follow that. You only get the angle from the normal. From here, once it is reflected, like this, again we are going to pick an angle that will be formed between the normal and the refracted ray. Which angle will be that? It is this one here. Are we together? So these are the two angles that you should always look out for whenever you are dealing with such. So here I'm sure out of the six angles you are able to pick the ones that I'm talking about. This is I, this is R. Okay? Now we are told which of the following equations can be used to calculate the refractive index of glass. What is refractive index? Now, you have to understand that according to Snell's law, according to Snell's law, according to Snell's law, sine I divided by sine R should always be constant. This constant is the refractive index. That is according to this man. So Snell's law states that the ratio of sine or the angle of the incident ray, angle of incident divided by the angle of refraction is always equal to constant. This constant is what is called the refractive index. So with this equation in mind, we can now pick the correct answer there whereby we are saying refract, uh, refractive index is always equal to sine i divided by sine r. So we can now get and get the correct answer from this um, explanation. What is our i here? So our i is 1. Are you seeing that? This is our i. Then what is our r? Our r is 3. So it will be 1 over 3. You can now pick which one is correct. A. Do we agree? That is the way you should be able to answer such kind of questions. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this presentation. Bye-bye.